Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community, with more than 27,000 classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access, so you can join any class, and take them anywhere, anytime. Learn, collaborate, or even teach a class by your own. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the best option for you. Visit the link from the description below, and first 500 people will get two months for free. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this free template from the link in the description. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Fire Logo Intro. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. At 24 frames per second, and my duration is 10 seconds longer. The first step is to import these file into the project. You can download them from the link in the description. First, we are going to work on the logo file. So grab it, and place it onto the timeline. In case your logo size is bigger, you can always adjust the size by using scale value. Now right click on your logo, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo comp, and make sure to click move all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. Now create a new solid layer. I am calling it the fire map. Choose any color you want, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the contrast value to 300, and brightness value to negative 20. Everything else will remain the same. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the tint effect. Apply it onto the layer. Now click on this map white color and change it to the red color. Cool. Now go to the timeline, and make sure, this fire map layer, is placed below the logo layer. Now we are going to use the track mat option. If your track mat tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. In case your F4 key is not responding, because it is doing meditation. Then right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes as well as, switches and parent, because we are going to need them. Now change the track mat to alpha inverted mat, and it should look like this. Now select the logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select both logo, and fire map layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo fire map, and then hit OK. Make sure this logo fire map layer is placed below the logo comp. And then change its track mat to alpha mat. Here you can barely see the logo, but it is still there. Go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. Change the glow radius value to 35, and glow threshold value to 40%. Here you can see some random glowing edges of the logo. This is what we need. Let's move to the next step. Go to the project window, grab this texture layer, and place it onto the timeline. I am placing it below of all layers. This texture layer is covering all the frame, but we just need to cover the logo only. So I am going to scale down it. I am keeping this size, 
so that it can cover the entire logo. Not so big, and not so small. Let's give it the shape of our logo. Select the logo layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. Place it right above the texture layer, and then change the texture layer track mat to alpha mat. Now it will look like our logo, but with a stone texture, and the glowing edges. You can always adjust the glow amount according to your need. Simply go to the effects control tab, and adjust this glow value. I'm using the glow radius value to 65. And it is looking much better now. Again go to the project window, and this time I am going to add background particle, at below of all layers. As well as particles overlay, on top of all layers. Our logo is gone. But don't worry, we just need to change its blending mode to screen. And the logo should be visible now. Let's grab this fire transition layer. And place it on top of all layers. This fire transition contains the transparency, so we don't need to change its blending mode. It will work fine immediately. Now I want my logo to appear, after this fire fill out the entire frame. So go to the point where you think is best for you, then select all logo layers, including texture layer, and then press open square bracket key, and the starting point of these layers will set at this point. Cool, check the animation, and see if you like it. It's time to make the logo appearing, but first, we need to do a few changes. Go to around 4 second position, and then select the logo fire map, open effect controls tab, and add a keyframe on glow radius. Now go to around 1 second forward, and change the glow radius value to 0. Now select the logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it logo reveal. And then, make sure to turn on the visibility, by clicking here. This logo looks so flat, so I am changing the blending mode to screen, and now you can see some rock texture on it. Let's make the logo reveal now. Click on the fourth second position, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the gradient wipe effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the gradient layer to the texture layer. Now change the transition softness value to 20%. Here we will use the transition completion to make the logo appearing. As you can see, our logo is now appearing through the texture. Cool. Let's change the blending mode to linear dodge it will look much better. Let's animate it now. Make sure you are at the fourth second position. And then change the transition completion value to a higher number, so that your logo disappear. Now add a keyframe on transition completion. Go to around one second forward, and change the transition completion value to a smaller number. I don't want to make the logo visible completely. So I am keeping the value of 20%, to create a rough look. This value can be different for your logo. Check the animation, and this is how it should look now. Cool. Now we are going to make some heat waves. Create a new solid layer, and call it heat map. Let's place it on top of all layers and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the CC bubbles. Apply it onto the layer, and then search for the one more effect. I am using fast blur, you can use Gaussian blur as well. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. In the CC bubbles, change the bubble amount to 300. As well as, change the bubble speed to 4. Now change the shading type to lighten. Also, change the blurriness value to 90. Now go to the timeline, and pre-compose the heat map. Let's call it heat map comp. And click on the move all attributes into the new composition. Let's hide this layer, because we actually don't need to see it. Now create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it heat. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the displacement map. Apply it onto the layer, 
and then changed the displacement map layer to heat map comp. And now it will create heat distortion on it. Cool. Let's move to the last step, and create a zoom out effect. Create a new null object. I am calling it zoom out. Now go to the 7 second position, and select all the logo layers, including texture layer. And then grab this pick whip, and drop it on the zoom out layer. These layers will connect with this null object, and now we don't need to add keyframes on each layers, we can use this null object for the keyframe part. Now select the zoom out layer, and open scale. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to the first frame position and change the scale value to 115%. Now select all layers, and then press U double times, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.